Have you ever wondered what it would feel like to be in a wheelchair? In a student's fast-paced world, we often overlook those who are differently abled. Adam al Kastawi talks to a U of C student about his experiences with wheelchair accessibility on campus. Imagine a world where your surroundings were not tailored to your well-being, and no one seems to be paying attention. Wheelchair accessibility at the University of Calgary is a work in progress. Michael is a student in his second year at the UFC. He describes the obstacles he needs to deal with while getting around campus. The hallways get too busy, and it makes it difficult for me to drive my power wheelchair. With all the people, the doors can be a problem as well. Automatic doors seem to only stay open for two seconds before they close on me and lifts break down on me. Each wheelchair student have their specific needs. With Michael, an automatic door isn't one that opens with a click of a button. He's dependent on someone else to open the door for him. An environment where everything seems to be moving so fast, naturally, Michael will need his voice to be heard. Doors need to automatically open without pushing a button. There should be more bathrooms set up for students in wheelchairs and wider ramps in the hallways. Although the wheelchair accessibility issue has been noted, like any problem that has been identified, the solution is easier said than done. Marilyn Kaler is an advisor at the Disability Resource Center and is fully aware of the problem. Primarily what we will look at when a student comes to the UC and is a wheelchair user, we're looking at physical access and it's the access to the campus, like getting on campus, parking, uh, getting around campus, and then in the classrooms, lectures, and labs as well. So we look at all of the environments, and then we look to see if there's any barriers for those students, and then, uh, then we'll talk to the various uh, departments or faculties that are involved that we might need to look at to modify that. It's slowly moving and progressing forward. We look at retrofitting. It's not going to happen overnight, because of lack of funds. So we look at where can we get the biggest bang for the buck this year that's gonna have the biggest impact on the students that, that need access. Kaler deals with wheelchair students on a day-to-day -day basis. When talking long-term goals, Kaler believes it's only a matter of time until all issues concerning wheelchair accessibility for students will be met. Until then, students such as Michael will still need someone to help him navigate the campus. For NUTV, I'm Adam El